Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. Today we are going to discuss a very very important topic in a C language. So that is how to work with a modify operators. In most of the technical interview questions, right? So they will ask number of questions on modify operators, none other than increment and decrement operators. So, in this session, so we will discuss briefly about uh, modify operators in a C language. Here, so modify operators, so modify operators also called unary operators. Unary operator means what? An operator can perform operation on a single operand, only one operand is enough to perform the operation is called unary operator, is called what? Unary operator. So, here, so modify operators, so briefly two types. So, one is increment operators, second one is decrement operators increment and decrement operators. Increment operators again divided into two types, pre-increment, post-increment, pre-increment and post-increment here two types and decrement also pre-decrement, post-decrement pre decrement post decrement so modify operators is of two types first one increment operators second one decrement operators increment operators again divided into pre increment and post increment decrement operators divided into pre decrement and post decrement sir how to use modify operators either increment or decrement operators observe pre increment means this is the operator increment operator. So, that must be used in front of the variable. So, before operand we need to place two plus symbols is called pre increment and post increment means followed by variable we need to write V A R plus plus pre decrement means minus minus V A R post decrement means V A R minus minus these are. So, this is the usage of uh, increment operators and decrement operators. Sir, what is the use of increment and decrement operators? So, what exactly these operators will do? Simple, either you consider pre increment or post increment no matter. Suppose, if you declare one variable int x is equals to 10 consider either we use a pre increment or we use a post increment whatever x value become 11 the value increased by 1 is called increment operator either pre or post so means what internally this is executing x is equals to x plus 1 x value is a 10 it will add 1 value become 11 that will go and store into x update. Decrement operator also same either it is a pre decrement or post decrement. Suppose x value 10 either we use a minus minus x or x minus minus x value become 9 that is x is equals to x minus 1. So, this is so what exactly pre increment and post increment will do and pre decrement and post decrement will do increment operators means increases the value of a variable by 1, decrement operator decreases the value by 1. But sir, pre increment and post increment is there, when pre increment increases the value and when post increment increases the value, so that is a concept. But to understand very clearly, only 5 steps we should understand first first I will write all the 5 steps based on all the 5 steps then we will discuss some of the examples then you will get more clarity on this ok see. 
here so i am writing the five steps first one if there is any pre increment and pre decrement in the expression so that we should execute first pre increment or pre decrement first you should perform this one it is first second one followed by pre increment and pre decrement substitute the values in the equation or in the expression we should substitute the value after substitution we should evaluate that expression evaluation and followed by evaluation assignment and uh, the last step is post increment and post decrement post increment post decrement this is the last step sir what all these things of five steps bit confusion don't worry if you see some of the examples you will get more clarity on this okay very easy first one pre increment and pre decrement second one substitution third one evaluation fourth one assignment fifth one post increment and uh, post decrement so based on these five steps so now i will show you examples first a basic example that represents just a difference between a post increment and pre increment easy here it is pre increment versus post increment two examples i'll write simple example same program main main here i'm declaring two variables x value 10 y value i'm not assigning anything just y equals to plus plus x and here we are printing both x and y values percentage d percentage d x and y value we are printing this is one program this is second program main almost same integer x value 10 y a simple difference y equals to x plus plus here we are using post increment here we are using pre increment except that the program is the same in the next line we are printing both x and y values print f percentage d percentage d x and y values we are printing x and y okay so in these two programs the only one difference is here it is we are using pre increment here we are using post increment except that everything is the same right see how these two things will execute according to these five steps we have to consider these five steps first step pre increment and pre decrement so first execution starts from the main method and the first statement executes nothing but x get memory allocation at some location and y gets memory allocation location here also same x get memory allocation and y will get memory allocation x and y so here the first step x value is initializes with a 10 sir what is the y value it's a local variable if you are not initializing with any value it contains a garbage value the basic concepts already we know so next step is expression evaluation but here it is increment and decrements are there how it executes very simple just follow these five steps first step pre increment and pre decrement is there right so here it is yes pre increment is already there so execute this pre increment plus plus x increase the x value x value 10 become 11 Then become eleven. Second step: substitute the value. Substitute the value. Here it is a value substitution. X value is eleven, so substitute here eleven. Next evaluation. So evaluation means what? Suppose if there is any plus thirty, forty something is there according to priorities, you have to evaluate. But here it is in this program, nothing is there to evaluate. just no need to use this step evaluation next come to fourth step assignment assigning the value right just assign the value to y 
So, 11 will go and assign to y. So, y value become garbage value is replaced with the new value 11. And uh, the last step is a post increment and uh, post decrement. Any post increment and post decrement here in this? Nothing is there. So, 5 steps completed means expression execution completed. In the next step, printing x and y, x is 11 and y is 11. So, x value it will print 11 and y value it will print 11. This is the output of the first program. Sir, next come to that second one, right? Easily now you can understand. So, first one x value as usual initializes with a 10 and what is the y value? Initially, it is a garbage value, x value is a 10, y value is a garbage value. And next come to this step, this expression y is equals to x plus plus again evaluate by using all the 5 steps, evaluate using all the 5 steps. How? Here, here first step is a pre increment and pre decrement. Is there any pre increment and pre decrement? No. So, leave it the first step. Come to that second step, substitution of values, substitution. What is the x value? 10. Substitute that x value 10. And what is the third step? Evaluate, but of course, nothing is there to evaluate. Leave the third step. Come to the fourth step, assignment. Assign the value 10 to y. So, y value garbage value is replaced with a 10. And what is the last step? Post increment and post decrement is there. Yes, of course, post increment is there. x value increases. So, increase the x value. What is that x value? 11. All the 5 steps execution completed? Yes, expression evaluation completed. Then directly come to that next step, print the x y values. What is the x value now? 11. What is the y value here? 10. So, output is a x value 11, y value 10. A simple difference uh, between a post increment and a pre increment is a pre increment executes first post increment executes last that is the only difference ok right we will see number of examples right so in the next session so based on a pre increment and pre decrement then you will understand more clearly so this is the one basic example on increments and decrement operators ok for more videos please subscribe to narish it channel thank you